Uh, when I say Richard Curtis movie, what words sort of come into both your heads? Payday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I mean, that's not true. Uh, that's not true, actually. That's just not true. <laughs> no, like warmth, love. Yep. Um, Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, baked goods. <laughs> baked goods. Apparently so. The different so things mean different things to different treats. people. So, yeah, so yes, there's a lot of treats. The catering is amazing, is it? Oh on my Richard goodness. Curtis? And Richard yeah. ate it yeah. all, too. He'd be. T- oh, yeah, no, no, no. Emma doesn't know. His partner's not meant to know about that. He didn't eat anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> the man's got a problem. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of nice treats around and a lot of love yeah. on set. Yeah. Mm. A lot of eating yeah. ice creams and. Hot days. That's good to hear because I guess you, his films are so lovely and amazing. It'd be horrible if there was just a hostile set and everyone hated each other. I guess we'd all be really good actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead, we just uh, coasted along and took his lead. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said to me at the start that he wanted to like the cast and crew, everybody who's working on the film. He wanted to work with nice people, mm. and on the set, it was a really nice atmosphere. Everyone, I think, got on Is really well. Is it time well. for meanies? Yeah. Exactly. Unfortunately, <laughs> the actors we wanted was not available. <laughs> <laughs> they drafted Rachel and it was fine. <laughs> was it a quick yes for you, Rachel, when, when you got offered it? Because obviously we've seen Julia Roberts, Andy McDowell, there's like a history of American actresses coming over to our shores and working with Richard, so... Yeah, very Even quick, as a yes. Canadian? Yeah. Even as a Canadian. Oh, you're Canadian, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> um, you're paying attention. I am paying attention, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I no, she went straight that. into it. No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, definitely. I've always loved his films, and um, and I and I, I was just so excited to be a part of them. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so no, a no-brainer. It's quite a momentous film for you, Rachel, yeah. I feel, because it's now a trilogy of Rachel McAdams' time-traveling time films. Time yeah, yes, Midnight in Paris, Time Travel's Wife, this. So I'm wondering if it's linked back to a childhood crush on Marty McFly or something. If you just <laughs> fall for these time I traveling men. I did love Marty McFly. <laughs> <sighs> um, it's weird. It's weird. I didn't really notice. I didn't notice. I was. I was sort of following that pattern. And I've never actually been a time traveler in any of those films. A time traveler myself. So I feel like next time travel movie I do. It's got to be you. Yeah. I'm gonna travel. Obviously, the film sort of it makes the point. Obviously that. Time travel is, look, sounds amazing or whatever, but it's not necessarily. You have to live each day as it is. Mm. But I'm wondering, has there been a moment you've had like in your sort of working career where you think, I'd love to just go back and re-experience that day? To re-experience it or to make it better? Both, I guess, yeah. I kissed Helen Mirren once, very inappropriately, in a scene. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what came over me. My character this was, in a was movie, like, right, wasn't it? it was in yeah. a movie. Oh yes, okay. it was in a movie. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it was in a movie for sure. We were yeah. working. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't know what happened. My the character was like so. I was just so happy. Everything worked out. It was the end of the movie and everything. But she was my boss, and I just went up to her, and I. It was on like something took over. <laughs> no, not well. Sort of closest, you know, on the just in that like. Danger zone right there. <laughs> Where a turn of the head can mean a kind of a, yeah, 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 some time in jail. Yeah, that was really weird. It was like something had taken taken over my, anyway. <laughs> she said she liked it, so <laughs> I apologize. Really she said, don't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again. It. Let's go again. <laughs> yeah. I'd go back to my first day on Harry Potter because I, I, messed, I, I messed that up. I went Australian. I was meant to be oh, Irish really? and I went to full Australian. And the director like stopped and was like, Donald, you've gone full Australian. And I was like, no, I I know, mate, it's cool. And it was like, it was really, really bad. It was really bad. So I would go back and just not do that. At least they kept you on the whole series, though. So I was only in the last two. I mean, I I, I wasn't in all the way through. I I only joined right at the end. And uh, I think I was the reason they stopped making the films. (laughs) (laughs) J.K. Rowling saw it, thought, no more books. I'm not writing any more in case they keep them in it. Yeah, 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 that's what happened. (laughs)